Hey y'all, this is Trevor with Carrot, and I want to shoot a little video for you. I saw an amazing, amazing question in a Facebook thread the other day, uh, actually today, uh, and uh, it's from a client named Sasha, and I'm just going to read the question to you, and I'm going to walk you through what, I guess, number one, we're going to look at the data, and we're going to look at some cool things on why it's so important to go for performance instead of preference on prettiness, but also show you some emails from really high-performing investors, what they're doing, and also show you some really cool things you do to customize and personalize your Carrot site so you can stand out. Here's Sasha's question. It says, who do you use for building out your website? I use Carrot for the platform. However, I'm looking for professional site customization to make it stand out. So the question that he asks is an amazing question and it's a valid question and it's something you should be asking in your business. How can I stand out? Now, the thing I want you to make sure that you're focusing on is what does standing out mean? Okay, is, is standing out standing out with your, your unique selling proposition? Is it standing out by, by trying to be different visually? Because there's different things that can actually increase or decrease the performance of your website. Standing out by itself is not a good thing. Okay, Standing out with the things that actually increase your performance are a good thing. So let me show you a couple things really quick. Okay, Here's a website right here that's a really awesome looking website. Now this is not a carrot website, it's a custom WordPress site. Uh, one of the largest home buyers in the country and probably the largest home buyer in uh, Houston in the used market, this is his uh, website, right? So really great looking site. It's got really good, good, clear copy, good, clear branding. It looks different. This call to action area is kind of pretty and kind of cool. It's got that fancy little thing around it, cool little hover things. This section is really cool. Like I look at it and go, man, that's awesome. It's got really good copy in there and it's very interesting. Kind of open doorsy as far as bringing up, you know, little notes and little things pointed to houses. Good, clean, clear branding, really awesome not cluttered the whole thing. I think most people when they look at this website uh, versus let's say this website, okay? This one here, uh, it's a carrot site. It's got a little bit more words on it. It's got a different call to action area. It's got a lot more words down here. Uh, it looks quite different than this site here. I think nine and a half people out of 10 would say that this site here is probably the one that they would rather use, right? This site versus this site. There's a few reasons they would say that. They would say, well, they'd rather use it because it looks different. It looks pretty. It looks, it's less wordy. The thing is, I want to read you this email. Okay, this email right here is actually from the founder of that website, the number one home buyer in Houston or around there. He's one of the largest home buyers in Houston. This client here, Jeremiah, was with Carrot. He's one of the biggest home buyers in, um, in his market. He moved over to a different platform so he could look different. The problem was, what he discovered is looking different wasn't always a good thing. He actually decreased his performance. So before he moved back to Carrot, he's like, man, I made all this investment moving over. I don't really know. Like, is that really going to increase my performance? I said, just talk to this client. Talk to Jason Bible. He's the guy who, who tested a ton of stuff. So Jason tested over $50,000 a month in Google pay-per-click and being pay-per-click, running through three different websites. This custom site that I showed you right here, really pretty, amazing looking site. Um, his Carrot website right here, personalized, branded. He's got credibility in there. Looks good. I'm going to show you some of the things that he did to customize it. Okay. And then also a lead propeller site. Now he ran $50,000 a month in pay-per-click traffic for several months in this email right here. He says, we ran a test a few years ago and had double the conversion with Carrot versus lead propeller versus our custom site. Okay. Now can we say that everyone's going to get double performance? No. Can we say that every single website's always going to perform better on Carrot? No. But what we can say is that the data um, usually tends to, to say that the way the Carrot structure is set up, that high performing framework, is a higher performing framework. Now, what he did was he bagged this website. I'm showing you guys this website on archive.org because it no longer exists anymore. He completely replaced this $15,000 custom website, an amazingly pretty website that he invests a lot of money into with this, with this Carrot website because it's outperforming his other one by such a high margin that he was losing so much money focusing on prettiness, focusing on how do I look different versus what is actually putting more money in my pocket. And only when you actually test and do real legit split tests can you really find that information. Here's another example. Let me read this email from the number one home buyer in the um, Oklahoma market. Let me turn off my Slack. So this is uh, from Carter from 1-800-2-SELL-HOMES, number one home buyer in all of Oklahoma. Uh, he'd been with us for a couple months by then. I reached out and said, hey, how are things going? He said this right here. Thanks for reaching out. I uh, couldn't be happier with the site so far. We're working on minor tweaks, but I think our situation in particular is interesting because already we already had a strong brand going in. We have, been, we have seen a dramatic increase in web leads. With that, we have also seen a, a fairly significant drop in phone leads. I think that shows that people got frustrated with our previous site. They probably got on, looked around, couldn't get the information or find the lead form, so they called. 
This is a very good thing. The other thing that we notice is that historically, and I'm talking a five year period, our leads are lower than average, but slightly higher than they, we've, they've been in the last three to five months. We have reduced our TV budget by almost half in our, from our historical average as well. So the total marketing budget is significantly lower um, than where we have been over the years. That may sound like a bad thing, but historically we convert 10% of our leads into purchases. So sw since switching to Carrot, the leads we are getting, although less than half the historical average because we cut our TV budget, are converting to purchases at a much higher level. Things have been moving so fast that we haven't had the opportunity to accurately determine the lead to purchase ratio, but I would estimate it is in the in the 25 to 35% range, which means the leads we are getting are significantly better than our historical average. Thanks for everything. We're looking at expansion because of the success we've had in such a short time. So here's his website. Now, they happen to be using the same design. I'm not saying that this design is the one that, that you have to use, but this design is insanely high performing. There's certain reasons for this, y'all. Okay, so if you wanna look different, what a lot of people do is they try to change the website to look so different that they remove the things that actually perform. Or even if you try to emulate or copy this, what happens is they copy the wrong things or, or miss, miss copying the important things. And the navigation structure, the way it's set up is insanely, insanely important. What happens when a lot of people try to move to something different to look different is they don't put the psychology and the research into why your navigation structure should be ordered in a very certain way and in the exact pattern and order that people actually ask for and look for their solution to the problem. Then your copy actually addresses the, 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 the conversation going on in the person's mind. We have tested the single form field. We have tested the heck out of the single form field, y'all. Okay, the open door style, express home buyer style single form field. We've tested it in 20 plus markets through thousands and thousands and thousands of visitors. And overwhelmingly, the single form field does not perform better. So be careful with what you go out there and emulate because the data doesn't show that the single property form field performs better in even half of the situations we've tested in. Many of them had actually decreased performance in leads by over 20% versus this format. Some of them had increased leads. And those ones, they've actually stuck with the design like this right here. Okay, 299 cash are the largest home buyer in all of Tennessee. Oh, let me pull that up here. Uh, right there, I pulled up the wrong URL at the start. So this right here, single form field, this is a carrot site. Okay, this is a carrot site. They went through our concierge program where we dial in the visual of the website so you don't have to go and hire a, a web developer who doesn't have all the data and all the experience and knowledge that we have in this industry. And we do it on our system. So this is a carrot site. We baked in their credibility, kept the high performing framework, brought in the single form field because we, we tested it on their site and it happened to boost performance for them. Brought in a credibility bar with a good image, brought in his TV credibility there, a really cool video, some other credibility, and then the content, okay, and they're crushing it. Right, so I want to address kind of the elephant in the room here is this, is, is this right here, is, is the amount of content. So this guy right here, I just got done talking with him today. He's in our version one of Carrot, so from years ago. He hasn't, he hasn't moved over to version two yet. And that's something that we're going to be helping him move over to. He's on our normal site design. He's done some basic customizations with pictures and that's about it. But he hasn't done much more. This guy has thousands and thousands and thousands of motivated house seller leads in here. Thousands. Okay. Let me, let me click this really fast here and just look at this. 39 this week, 3,900 seller leads in there over the course of the time. Now, we, we may ask this question. So is looking different important or is actually the fundamentals of psychology and connecting with your prospect and building credibility the most important? I think most people when they're looking at trying to look different, they're looking at the wrong things. They're looking at different as in the visual versus different as in their unique selling proposition, as in their marketing method and getting people to them. This website has a lot of words on it, but it converts like mad for them versus anything else that they tested. Okay, so let me talk about the wordy versus non-wordy thing. So a few years ago, actually two years ago, we bought a house, we're on the river, and uh, we actually um, had bats move into our attic. Okay, so what happened is I went to Google, and I went to Google and started typing up phrases like how to get, you know, how to, how to move bats from attic, things like that. Okay, so I had this problem, right? I had this problem, I was highly motivated to figure out this problem and get rid of these darn bats in my attic. So what do I do? I do the same exact thing that a motivated house seller does. I've got this problem. I've got all these questions in my mind. I've got this pain that I need to remove. So what happens is at that point, you need to answer all of your questions. You need to research, okay? And what do you need to be able to research? You need content, you need answers. So I start going in here and I start clicking all of these websites, you know, wildlife removal, bat removal pro. I literally probably clicked the top seven or eight. I did seven, six or seven searches. I get down here, I click bats and attic removal cost. Okay, I'm clicking all these things. 
checking out. I probably clicked 9, 10, 11, 15 different websites on my research, on my search to solve my problem. Okay, so what happens is all these websites pop up. Here's atticpestauthority.com and um, it's got a bunch of content on it. That's cool, right? Um, that's really useful. Lots and lots of content. It's going to answer my questions. Lots of really good pictures that ropes me in. It talks about the types of bats. It talks about uh, bat guano dropping. How do you, you know, hearing the bats, where they are. It talks about how to get rid of them, the health issues, all that stuff. What does it end up with? It ends up driving me to literally a lead generation deal, okay? This one over here, Professional Wildlife Removal, terrible looking website. I think everyone can agree to me that this is an ugly looking website. But what happens is it answers all of my questions. It has a lot of content on here, amazing images, amazing pictures, all address the exact things in the exact order that I needed to. And I actually called right here, now service over 500 locations, I called this one. The ugliest looking website that answered all my questions had tons of words on it, tons of clutter on it. It's it, I didn't call because of the clutter and all that. I called because it answered all of my questions and didn't leave me hanging. It wasn't a thin content website. Let's pop over to this one. Okay, this one right here. It's really pretty, but it's less words. Like there's not really much for me in here, okay? What happened was when I landed on this one subconsciously, I wasn't even thinking about conversion. I was thinking about my problem. I was thinking about... What I, my problem, how do I get rid of this problem? What do I need to know and what do I need to, to figure out? So my kids are in the second floor of the house. Their bedroom is, the attics are above the rooms. I'm concerned about health issues for them, right? So I'm going through and I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool, but they're not really answering my questions. So what do I do? I bounce back to Google. I leave the website that had thin content, okay? And there were other, there were a few other websites in the bat removal space that were very, very insanely pretty, okay? Insanely pretty websites. But what happened was let me pop back over to bat removal um how to remove bats in the attic okay so what happened was there's a couple websites that were insanely pretty there were a couple websites that were you know very very good looking websites let me see if i can find one or two of them again um they were landing pages and they were thin thin content but they were pretty they had a lot of white space you know what i did from those immediately i bounced back and i left the website because they didn't answer my questions okay so now let's go back to this one and, and figure out why did this one not perform as well. When it looks different, it looks pretty. So what's the most important factor? Is it looking different and pretty or is it actually is it actually tying your message and connecting with your prospect at a root core level where they have problems, they have frustrations, they have fears, they have a problem they need to get rid of. They have questions in their mind, they need them answered and they need to find out, is this the company that can actually solve my problem in a credible way that I can trust? Okay, so over here, what do we see? We have a good call to action. Get a no obligation cash offer on your house. Sweet, awesome. That's cool. That helps me out. I, I at least know that you can sell. Uh, you can buy houses. Avoid realtor commission showings. Da, da, da. Cool. That's good. It has a phone number. Cool. Request a cash offer. Cool. I can put in my address. That's awesome. This right here is losing them probably ten percent of their leads. Literally, this one button is probably losing them ten percent of the leads by the way that it, uh, the size of it and the words in it. Okay, this right here is as much as this is good copy. Most people are not going to read this. This is cluttering up the message because the way it's laid out. I'm not going to go through and read this stuff because it's not bolded. Like if 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 this was bolded where it said can't afford the necessary repairs, that would be better. But still, it's presented in a way that's confusing to the eye. So I end up just scrolling down through that. How does it work? Okay, cool. I kind of understand how that works. But I've still got questions about this whole thing. You know, I've still got questions about all this stuff, and they have a how it works section and all that stuff. But what if I'm in probate? Can you guys help me there? What if I'm in X? Can you help me there? It didn't answer it. You over here, it's in a more logical format. Yes, people might say it's wordier. You might send it to your cousin Sally, who is a graphic designer, or your brother to check it out. And they might say, you know what? No one's ever going to read all that stuff. I can tell you, don't take advice from people who are not your target market or who do, or who do not have the data that backs up that what the target market knows. Because what happens is when we ask our friends or family for feedback on something, they're gonna give feedback on what they feel they uh, take away from it, what they feel visually um, they take away from it. You know what? They are not your prospect. They don't have the same pain that your prospect does, so they're not gonna be interested in reading the content, and the content isn't gonna pull them down the page the same way it, the right content will pull uh, a highly motivated prospect down the page. Okay, so don't take feedback from your brother, your aunt, your uncle, if they're not a highly motivated house seller, or if they're not an expert in online conversion for motivated sellers and know the psychology of the seller. Okay, because sales copy is way, way, way different 
than designing a pretty looking web page and performance goes along the same thing. So right here, copy, we address a similar thing. Sell your house on your terms, very similar to the one before, very similar here, avoid hassles, da 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 da, get an offer, that's very similar. The psychology of the form is way different though, okay? This year, they were getting a lot of addresses, they weren't getting as many full leads. This year, they're getting more addresses and more full leads, okay? The button's way bigger, it's way, the whole thing's way better on mobile. You shrink this puppy down, way, way, way better on mobile devices than his other one, way easier to use, okay? Right here, yes, it's a lot of copy, but we're addressing the person's story, we're addressing their problems in their mind. And then you start to drag down the story. Hey, here's your situations. Here's how we can help you. Do you need to sell? Awesome. Even if you work with an agent, we can help. And here's some more stuff. We can help. Da, 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 da. Go see our process over here. You ready? Let's opt in. Here's some blog posts you can check out. Awesome. Here's some more copy. Here's some areas that we work in. All that's very strategic. The content flow up here, you always want your top left navigation button to be focused on the exact thing they came there for. They came to sell their house or if it's a cash buyer site, they came to look at investment properties. Never put a home link there. Never put an FAQ link at the start. Always should be the exact thing that they came there for. And then it should trickle down in the order that they make a decision. There's a lot of other things we baked into these sites on mobile and on other things that make it perform so well and why this crushed Jason's $15,000 custom site, why it crushed the competitors and why I don't want you to make the same mistake. And it's not because I want to save the 99 bucks a month. Uh, it's not going to make a difference in my bank account, y'all. But I do see mistakes like this make massive, massive differences in other people's bank accounts. So I'm going to show you a few examples of other websites that look pretty darn good. Okay, this one here, like I said, 299 cash, amazing website here. Let's pull up another one here. Um, this one looks pretty darn good. They happen to be using the same design too. You don't have to use this one, but they adjusted their form a little bit, but they have great branding in there and they have their credibility bar in there and they baked in some extra visuals and they centered up their content and they restructured their content right here. So, so it's just in a different format. It looks great. It's converting insanely well for them. Let's look at this one right here. Okay. Sell, sell now home buyers. Okay. This right here, uh, he closes, I think three to five, three to six deals a month just from SEO in the New York market. He went through and customized it. Now he used a different one of our templates, but he brought in his branding really well. He brought in great images. And then he, he wrote even more copy and this website crushes it for him versus his custom ones. The cool story about this guy, Dave Brown actually was in the business full time as a web developer, making websites for real estate investors. That was his business y'all developing websites for real estate investors, custom WordPress websites. And he's an investor. What he ended up doing was he ended up trying out Carrot, found it performed so much better, was easier to use. He didn't have to keep up with the plugins. He didn't have to keep up with mobile changes. He didn't have to keep up with web hosts and hacker ex exploits and all that stuff. And he also liked our SEO tools in the back end and all these other things that go with it. And he said, you know what? He now doesn't develop websites for real estate investors anymore. He uses our system himself when he is a web developer, a custom WordPress guy. He's developed probably 100 plus real estate investor websites. All the people that reach out to him now for websites come through Carrot because he's found such better performance with this system, with SEO, with conversion, and just all around less hassle and having to manage things. Um, let's see another one here. This one's pretty interesting. So let me, let me bring up this one, okay? Because a lot of people say, well, I want like an open door style, really, really, really clean looking website. This right here is a carrot site, okay? This is a carrot site. I'll scroll to the bottom to prove it. Right here it says powered by carrot. So what happened was this client wanted something way, way different. We said, well, we got to warn you, everything that you're asking us to do actually goes against our testing and data. Now we can still wrap your branding and your story around the carrot framework, or if you really, really want that, we could use you as a test case and we can test some things with you. And they said, okay, we'd much rather do that. So they, they chose to forego trusting the data and said, we want to try, we want to go with the open door format. A lot of white space, really clean, you know, cool pictures, the whole thing, right? Um, all, all that. There's two key fundamentals I want you guys to notice here. The first one is we couldn't duplicate the open door format, not because we can't not because we can't do it technically on our system. You could if you wanted to, if you knew some CSS. It's because the open door uh, stuff, the reason open door performs so darn good, y'all, and OfferPad and, and Express Home Buyers, um, for them anyway, open door in, in particular, is because of their unique selling proposition. Their unique selling proposition is the primary reason their stuff works so well. Okay, it's not because the clean, the cleanliness and the white space and da 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 da. This picture is an amazing picture, right? They have great copy in there. This copy is pretty darn good. That's all good stuff. Credibility bar, cool. Carrot's got that stuff. Uh, icons, cool. You can move these icons and put this exact same stuff on your carrot site. No big deal. Cool. That's an awesome picture back there. Video, whatever. 
The thing is, y'all, and the reason that they have structured their navigation structure in this way, they are in the business of arbitraging money, okay? They're not really a house buyer. They buy houses, but that's not their main business, not, not the main way they make money. They arbitrage money. They have a ton of money in venture capital. They buy a lot of houses. They sell a lot of them, especially on terms. And so they're as much a home selling company as they are a home buying company. So that's one thing right there. That's a unique selling proposition that most investors don't have this type of thing dialed in as well. The next thing is their pricing. Okay, part of their unique selling proposition, they've, they over, over the years, they've tested a lot of things. Their pricing never used to be in the navigation bar at the top. Their pricing was always buried down somewhere else in like the footer. What they ended up finding was with their heat map uh, testing and things that we do too, when you find what people are clicking on a lot, if it's, if it's like blowing up on the heat map, you move it up towards the top of the page and make it easier for them to use. What they did was the pricing page got a ton of traffic. People are curious about your pricing. So most real estate investors are way, way, way um, untransparent. There's a lack of transparency in pricing. Okay, you make offers and oftentimes don't make it insanely clear how you're making money and, and how you came up with that offer. So what happens is people fear that you're not transparent with your price and they fear that they're getting ripped off. Open door, part of their unique selling proposition is transparency in pricing, transparency in process. You can come in here and I can see exactly what I'm getting into. Just like with them working with real estate agent, I can see exactly what I'm getting into there. Okay, then also I can go into the, how, the, the process on how it works. Their process is different. It's a little bit different. They have a unique process okay same thing you could do this on carrot you could do this stuff in a manner but that's part of their trans that's part of their process another part of their unique selling proposition is i can get an instant offer online i can submit something and i can literally get an instant offer through that whole thing okay so the reason open door this works for them is not necessarily the white space not necessarily all that stuff you can do most everything you see on carrot if you know some css it's because of their unique selling proposition they've gone out there and got amazing pretty images Okay, which you're gonna have to get anywhere. They're go they went out and got content and they really worked insanely hard on how are they differentiating their, their thing. Now look at this right here, y'all. They are differentiating against you. How is Open Door different? They used to just differentiate against the traditional home sale. Now they're differentiating against you. Closing a few days in competitive price, no listing showing staging or stress, transparent fees and pricing. They point that out because that's part of unique selling proposition. Sell instantly, but well below market value for distressed properties needing major repairs. Home is, re is resold for a large profit. How are you going to use your website and your marketing to point out your unique selling proposition so you are different than Open Door, you're different than OfferPad, you're different than the big guys, okay? Because while we're looking for a pretty looking site, we're looking for things like that, we should be focusing on unique selling proposition. How are we different than the 4,000 other flippers in my market? How are we different than the other real estate agents? Changing a website design is not going to do it, okay? What is going to do it is focusing on your USP, focusing on what's great and what's different about you. If we go to you know, guys like, like Houston uh, prop home buyers, or we go to guys like um, Brad Chandler or the other ones, Brad Chandler is a client of ours. You go to people like that, the reason that they are winning is because they've nailed their marketing, they've built in their credibility on their website, they've nailed the fundamentals of online stuff, but then they focus on unique selling proposition in a big way. Okay, and that's what I want you guys to focus on. But I'll show you a few other websites here. Let me pull up. So this one, going back to this one, we were testing it and it's performing way, way, way worse than other websites in this market. As an example, this one's in the same market. Um, this one, same thing happens to be using the same design. This one's crushing this one right here. So you wanna look different? Cool, different could, be, uh, could mean actually a, re a reduction in performance. So this website in the exact same market, DC and Baltimore, is losing big time against this website in DC and Baltimore. Okay, big time, not even close. All right, so let me show you a few other examples. So let me bring up this little this little notepad thing. I have a bunch of other sites. This is a cool looking site here. Uh, let's see here, Home Offers uh, KC. That's a cool looking site. Um, da, 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 da. I don't remember what that one looks like. Let's see, Home Buy Solutions. Let's see what that one looks like. Um, House Heroes. These guys are crushing it. Da, 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 da. Um, this one they customize quite a bit. And you can do a lot of other stuff with this stuff, guys. So here's one right here. This is a carrot site. It looks different, still retains the high performing elements in there. And it's and it's adjusted. This one went through our concierge program. Our team did these customizations for the clients so they didn't have to. That's the one I showed you before. They're crushing at large home bar in, in Maryland. This one here, they took our design and they actually did all the work themselves. We didn't do any of it. They are separated, but they still have the content that's needed to work for SEO and really bring the person in. 
Um, some people think that this is clutter, but this performs insanely great, great on mobile, and it crushes it for them. Okay, but they've brought in part of their unique selling proposition, buying greater Houston area since uh, since 2007. So they've been around oh, for a long time. They have an A plus Better Business Bureau. Um, they have great, great testimonials. Their process is clean. It's clear. Really, really good design on this website. It's a carrot site. They did the work themselves. Okay, this in here. This is a uh, this is a carrot site. Okay, right here, they went through, they used our hero section, they did a few things, they made the adjustments themselves, um, they, they're standing out and they're crushing it. They use the credibility bar, bring in credibility there. They have a lot of content here, but they're ranking well and they're doing insanely well because what this content does is it addresses the pains, fears, frustrations, limiting beliefs of that prospect, answers all their questions. This is not gonna be a website that someone's gonna bounce back to Google because they didn't get their answers. By the time they get through this, they're gonna have their answer, their questions answered, they're gonna feel trust and credibility that they know what they're doing, and they're gonna reach out to you. And also the cool thing about this versus a thin content website is let's say you guys both get the lead, let's say both of them get the conversion. The website with more content education and trust being built on the website actually has a competitive advantage when it comes time to closing the deal because you've already advanced that client further along the path of gaining trust credibility with you than the other website did. So the, the other person just went, shoot, I'm just gonna submit something in here just to kind of get uh, get, a, get an offer from them. But you've already built credibility and they're gonna wait for you to make an offer to them, even if the other company makes an offer first because of that content and everything that's built in there, okay? Let's bring up this one. This is another one uh, in the Phoenix market. They went through amazing image, uh, good clean, clean, clear branding. Um, you brought in some other things there, kind of cool. Let me bring this other Tucson one. Um, I think it's this one. Well, this one looks really great. Same thing, this one happens to be using this design, but there's a lot of other people using different designs. Um, and we do have a new design actually coming out that's really, really cool in about probably a couple weeks to advance marketer members that is similar to this, but a little bit different. I'm going to pause this, go find it, show it to you all. So here's mockups, um, the active website. I couldn't remember the URL of it, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's rolling out to advance marketer members here shortly. This is a new design based on our fundamentals as well to help you stand out. This one looks amazing on mobile but you can see some different kind of design, more modern site style, more modern style, making the form bigger, more obvious, really standing out. The credibility bar looks sweet the way that it is, some, some gradient elements in there, but you're still able to then retain the content and the content edge that it's got. Now look over on mobile. Uh, this right here looks amazing on mobile, and that's what we're always designing for mobile first. One last thing I want people to really recognize and realize when you're looking at website designs is that over 60% of all the leads that come in through a carrot platform our mobile. So when you start to really look at the website from the mobile versus the desktop more, you start to see a lot of those fancy, pretty design elements don't matter. Okay, a lot of those fancy, pretty uh, clean design elements don't matter as much because on a cell phone, what's going to happen is it's going to shrink down, right? It's going to shrink down like this. Okay, so right here, uh, pardon the rest of my screen here, but it's going to shrink down. And so you're going to lose a lot of those fancy elements that you're going to find on a fancier design. So you should always be looking at designing from mobile first but not desktop first because more than half of all the leads come through mobile as it is. And you start to lose the fancy, clean, the, 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 the design you think you're going for is almost all gone now on the mobile device when that's more than half the leads that you're bringing in. So amazing question. There's a lot of different ways we're gonna be coming out with a series of blog posts to teach you guys how to customize the visual of your websites more. And if you don't wanna do the work, we actually can do the work for you in our um, concierge program. That's where a lot of those sites went through our concierge program where we dial it in for you. We dial it in with the copy, the visual, the whole thing for way less than you would pay to, uh, to pay, to, to pay a, a legit conversion and SEO based web developer but you still be retain, retain all the training, all the tool set, the whole thing with Carrot. So once again, uh, if, if we can help you, I would love to help you out. And we've seen so many people try to, to, to move away to another system like an REI Blackbook. I love REI Blackbook. They have an amazing CRM. Their websites don't come anywhere near conversion rate with ours. Okay, so you always have to look at what you're, what you're most, what's mo most important. Is what's the money in your pocket and the conversion the most important and the performance the most important, the ROI, or is it feeling good that something looks different to you? You get the warm and fuzzies about it, but you're losing money because of it. All right, we love you guys. Dan, thank you for putting this group together. Amazing, amazing question. Keep those coming. If you guys like it, I'll do some more short videos on online marketing, some other things if you guys want me to. Let me know.